Please welcome Russ Meniv. Russ? Hey, how we doing? Good moods? All right, good moods. All right, well, I just got back from Vegas. What a cesspool of addiction that place is, huh? Pro prostitutes everywhere, and the worst part is, I have no idea they're prostitutes. I'm too preoccupied with how cool I think I am that it's going so well at the bar. Like, I am awesome. This chick is so into me. Here's a little tip for you. Here's what I do when I find they're a prostitute. I'm like, oh my God, you're a prostitute? What a coincidence. I am also a prostitute. I'd be willing to waive my fee. <laughs> You would also waive yours. Now, how much are you? 300? I'm 400. You owe me 100. Now get moving. <laughs> but I'm um, back in the city. I took the subway down here. I'll tell you, this, I love the New York City subway system. The one thing I can't stand though is when I'm always in this situation, I'm rushing for the subway because my train is down there. But there's one guy in front of me taking his sweet time down the stairs because his train isn't there yet. Shouldn't you legally be allowed to push that guy on his stomach <laughs> and ride him down like a sled onto your train? And it's too cold here in New York in the winter. You know, I miss the summer, but uh, the, the only thing I don't like about the summer uh, in New York City is those outdoor cafes, the tables on the street, and that homeless guy wanders up to your table. That's always fun, right? One guy comes up, he dips his wiener in my soup. What do you do there? I know what you're thinking, five-second rule, but still, that's annoying. <laughs> but I didn't flip out on we, we We need more love in this world, right? I saw True Love the other day. I was watching Guinness World Records. They had the fattest woman in the world. She weighed 1,200 pounds, and the guy stayed married to her. Could you imagine that? Honey, do you think I look fat in this? <laughs> what do you mean, the living room? What are you talking about? <laughs> but I'm with her. I think I like food better than sex. Who's with me on that one? Okay, a couple losers. Excellent. <laughs> now, you know, I know for sure I was watching a porno the other day, and this pizza delivery guy was just giving it to this housewife, and all I could think was, oh, that pizza's getting cold. <laughs> At least put it in the oven. He's bending you over the stove anyway, can't you? <laughs> Keep that on. But girls like big ones, right? That's what it said underneath my Snapple cap today. But I know what I like. I like those curvy chicks. You guys know what I... Yeah, you guys... Yeah, you guys know what I'm talking about? Scoliosis? Yeah, that is hot. Yeah. They like it when you kiss their neck because it sends a chill down and around and up and back to the spine. They love it. Hmm. But I think I'm more attracted to women I can't get. You know, that's my problem. Like, I still have this huge crush on Carmen San Diego. Now, who <laughs> is more hard to get than that chick? <laughs> Nobody even knows where in the world she is, people. I heard that Waldo guy was tagging her, but good luck finding him, right? But I just had the worst day. I went out with a uh, female cop. A little too manly for me. Something's been nice, though. Like, she would always open the car door for me. But then she would grab the top of my head and push me into it. <laughs> but that's a manly job. You know, I wish I had a manly job. You wear part of your uniform to bed to turn a girl on, right? Like, if you're a cop, you can wear your holster naked, right? Or if you're a construction worker, you can wear your hard hat. But if you're a loser, you can't do that. <laughs> like, you'll never hear Tommy rub my whole body, but first, put those clear plastic deli gloves on. Oh. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Now make me a sandwich, you loser. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but speaking of losers, these celebrities are losing their minds, right? You watching the news? Michael Jackson's hanging babies out of windows. R. Kelly's down below waiting to catch him. It's crazy out there. <laughs> but he, ah, right enough. <laughs> but he likes those, I don't like them too young, you know? Because I ever try to go out with somebody a lot younger than you, and even something as simple as music is a problem. I'm like, so you like the police? She's like, um, one time we had to call them. <laughs> Plus, the younger they are, I don't know what they're talking about. I was in a bagel store, and this young girl's working behind the counter. There was a time somebody didn't hear what you said. They say, excuse me, or I didn't catch that. There's a new one out there. Have you heard it? I was like, yeah, do you have any uh, onion bagels left? What happened? <laughs> <laughs> that does not even make sense. What happened? I was like, well, I was hungry, so I came down for a bagel, and that's what happened. <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody. That's my time.